put some deer feed out, uh, some corn and corn mix, uh, two nights ago, and woke up the the following morning and and it was gone, right, right clean down to the ground. You know, I figured I would get a couple squirrels in that would be munching on it, but uh, hope, hoping that the rest would go to the deer. Well, here I put some more out this morning, and and uh, this evening we've got three big old raccoons sitting out there, just having a, a wonderful meal. So we'll have to come up with something different for the deer to eat, uh, maybe some sugar beets or something. But uh, lucky for those three guys, I don't uh, don't eat raccoon, or there'd be uh, three less on this world. What I've done is to put the top of the tarp actually on a cable, kind of like a, a shower curtain. And then on the sides, I just have them, have them hooked right to those posts. And so what you can do, unhook one side and then just move the tarp to the, to the left or to the right, just like a shower curtain. And then once you're done, pull it back across and, and hook it. Show you what I mean here. Um, hopefully we can get this on camera good. So I've got a, a cable underneath uh, underneath the roof that the tarp is hooked through uh, with the little eyelets and that, that goes all the way across to the other side where I have it uh, secured to that post over there so uh, if all goes right it'll be keeping the snow out and when it's it's time to get the wood out unhook it from both of the, the hooks and then we can just pull it right across and be able to get into it, get your wood. See, it opens right up to, gets right out of the way. And then uh, once you're done, you just, you know, simply pull it right back across. So we'll have to see how well it works actually during the winter uh, with snow. You know, you try to keep the, keep the front of it uh, shoveled out um, so you're not dealing with a big pile of snow right in front. But uh, we'll see. I'm not too sure if if um, these the, the tarps go to the edges enough to to really keep it out, or if it's going to blow in. We've had some really good uh, wind since I put that up, and and being that it's it's somewhat taut, it, it hasn't blown around at all. It it doesn't look like it's bellowing out or anything like that. So we'll see. We're gonna get out on the water today. It's a uh, it's a beautiful day, you know. Being this this close to the end of September, not too many days like this uh, left in the year. So we're gonna get out there and try to enjoy the water just a bit. I'm gonna bring a fishing pole with me, though. You know that usually scares fish away from me anyhow. But uh, so we're gonna do this in a canoe. I had a hand in building about oh I don't know 25 years ago. Uh, first time it's been in the water <laughs> in geez over 20 years so we're gonna throw it in the throw it in the little canal here that leads out to the lake that I plan to be on and uh, uh, paddle around a little bit get a little exercise enjoy the enjoy the afternoon sun and who knows may, maybe catch a fish fish that, that would be great so I'll uh, I'll take some more video as we get out there and and uh, that's if uh, if the canoe doesn't sink okay so what is not to like about this I mean got the lake to myself it uh, the, the boats the boats not sinking which is always a plus I mean this is just uh, it doesn't get a whole lot better than this maybe if I would have brought a beer with me that could have really made it better but um, oh I, I, I don't know I don't know what to say it's it's fantastic um, Hmm. I, I'm I'm glad the canoe is still in working order. That, that uh, that's a good thing. Being it's just been sitting for over 20 years now, just sitting there collecting all sorts of critters. Um, this is working out great. But uh, glad to be out here. Very very lucky. Anyhow, I'm going to uh, put the camera down and and throw a line in the water and see what happens. All right, just. Uh, man just having some fun paddling around um, I, I did uh, definitely get my line in the water uh, pretty much uh, got the line wet that, that, that was about all that's happened so far but man just loving it all now here's something cool about this lake you just don't see every day this is an old railroad track uh, path used to be a 
railroad track that went right through here. Um, you can see all the stills, and you'll probably get lost in the sun, but it just keeps going right to the other shore. Pretty cool. Definitely some fish around here. Um, clearly not interested on uh, what I'm offering them, but uh, yeah, if nothing else, it's been a great, great day out here. Uh, just real, again, real lucky to be, be able to come out here and spend some time on this beautiful lake.